So I've heard objections from atheists, because like yourself, I, I, I get involved in debates and discussions and with atheists. And one of the primary ones that they bring forward as I'm um, debating with them is that if God is all powerful, he cannot be all good for evil exists. And if God is all good, he is not all powerful because he cannot stop evil. Now, is this a good argument against theism, in your opinion? Well, it's an argument that goes way back to Epicurus and people like that. And I think what lies behind it is important. And what lies behind it is the problem of evil and suffering, which is the hardest problem that anybody faces, whether they're Christian or not. And as a Christian, I find it's the hardest problem I face. Mm. But on the other hand, I think it's the hardest problem anybody faces because atheism appears to give you a superficial answer to it by simply saying, well, that's how it is, hard luck. Some get lucky, others don't, as Dawkins puts it, and that, that's the way it is, and we've got to face it. But it's actually worse than that from an atheist perspective because they formulate this as a real problem, a problem of evil and suffering. And yet the concepts of evil... I think, depend on the existence of God, because if you remove God, you've got to ask, where do you get your concept of evil from? Yes. And I tend to agree strongly with a Russian novelist, Fyodor Dostoevsky, who once said, if God does not exist, everything is permissible, by which he meant there are no rational grounds for morality. Mm. So what atheism does, actually, is remove the reason for making the criticism. But also, atheism thinks it solves the problem, but actually it doesn't because the suffering and evil are still there. But what they have removed is all hope. I'm a Christian. I have the problem of suffering and evil, but I've got great hope. Yes. And there's a very long answer to this question. It's such an important question that... I tried to say something about it in my recent book, Where's God in the Coronavirus World? Because many people are asking precisely that question. And to cut to the heart of it, it seems to me that we can reason like you did at the beginning there. And we get no answer that way. Mm. We're left with the situation where all of us look out and we see a mixed picture. Mm. We see a world with a lot of beauty in it and a lot of horror in it. Mm. And it's a mixed picture and no worldview that doesn't accept that the picture is mixed has any chance of intellectual or moral allegiance. So I face the situation and I say, look, you've argued about this and you can't come to a solution. Mm. It's possible you're asking the wrong question. And by that I mean this, granted that it's like that, I ask a different question and I say, is there any evidence anywhere that there is a God whom we could trust with it? Now that's an equally difficult question, but it leads me to the heart of Christianity, which is the picture of a God who has not remained distant from human suffering, but has himself become part of it. it, And that's the Christian cross. Mm. And therefore... I would want to zero in there because it's there, interestingly enough and wonderfully, that we see the grounds for real hope Mm. because Jesus not only died on the cross, he rose again, and that changes the entire picture because a lot of handling of the problem of suffering and evil uh, is predicated on the basis that death is the end. Mm. But if death is not the end, then we need to take Jesus very seriously, and and I do. But that's the short answer. People want to – I've done a lot of stuff on this. I arrived in New Zealand, and this will be my last point, just after the earthquake. And there's a website. If you Google John Lennox New Zealand, you'll see extended lectures where I had to face the horrors of meeting people who'd lost their loved ones in the Christchurch earthquake in 2011 and it was very important for me to stand up in public and do this because I do think Christianity has something to say Mm. 
It doesn't take away the pain of the suffering, but it can bring hope into the situation.